Don't forget about our 5,000 subscriber giveaway. Here is a brand new, never used, in the box, double din car stereo with GPS, subwoofer outputs, and even a rear backup camera. Comes with everything, free of charge to you. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, take a screenshot of it or a picture if you're using your TV, and send it over to the underscore Gotti's Garage on Instagram, and that 5,000 subscribers, one of you lucky ones, will be chosen at random, and then you get to enjoy a brand new double din car radio from Gotti's Garage. So enjoy the rest of this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Well, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Gotti's Garage. Now, in this video, we're gonna get straight to the point because who doesn't like straight to the point videos? But we are gonna be changing the rear wheel bearings on, uh, this is the fourth gen 2017 rim, but anything with a 9.25 inch rear end. So it's gonna be pretty much the same for everything. So first things first, we gotta take the wheels off. All right, so the wheels are off and it's getting dark. So I'm trying to rush. Um, all you gotta do is get this caliper off and you just take these 21 millimeter bolts off, pull this thing off, make sure you hang it up. You don't want it sitting there dangling on the brake line because that's no bueno. Then you take this rotor off, then you're exposed to the actual axle. So you'll see that now. All right, just like that. So I just have it sitting right here but you can tell. That's where all my noise is coming from. Uh, it's like a grindy noise, uh, like a whoosh, 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 whoosh noise. It goes, you know, louder and faster as the faster you go. So we got that out. Now we need to pull this axle out. In order to pull this axle out, we have to take that differential cover off. Take that differential cover off, drain all the fluid out of it. All right, guys, so hopefully you can see but we have the diff cover off. Diff fluid is draining. Well, already has drained. Now, this part. Okay, let's see if I can hold both at the same time. They'll drop my phone into the oil. Right here on one end of the differential or one end of this thing, you're gonna have an eight millimeter bolt. You gotta take a wrench to get it out. And once you get it out, I actually probably have to reposition this. But once you get it out, you can take this pin that's right here, right in the middle right here, there's a pin. You gotta pull this out and you can take this pin all the way out. Once that pin comes all the way out, then you can, uh, there's little C-clips in between these gears right here. You can pull those C-clips out and once those C-clips are out, you can uh, then pull this whole axle out. So I'm gonna get to that, then I might call that good for tonight. And tomorrow, when it's daylight out, we'll do the installation process. So, I gotta push this back in because we're gonna have to put this truck in neutral, or we're gonna force it to be in neutral. That way, I can move this differential so we can get this bolt kind of down here so this pin will slide out. Alright, guys. So, as you see, we got the whole axle out. There's the bearing. Here's a little washer inside right there. And I'm gonna wait until tomorrow. So you guys can see this. Oh, it doesn't feel terrible. It's really black though. Um. Anyways, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow so you guys can see how this works. But it did kind of fall apart on me, and I'm not sure why. And that is another reason why I'm waiting till tomorrow because light. But this little gear fell out. And I gotta figure out why because it's not good I guess they both maybe they both did so here's a little c-clips which I'll show you more of that tomorrow but then this whole gear fell out hopefully you guys can see this whole gear fell out I think it just rides right in here though from right I believe that's what it does yeah it just sits right in there I can't get it out god damn it all right we're gonna finish this up tomorrow so there's more light I can show you guys a little bit more thoroughly and then I can actually see what's going on because that does not look good 
All right guys, so it's next morning. Very gloomy outside, so hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing anyways. But this is the driver's side axle. That came out. And then those uh, parking brakes don't look good. And here is the passenger side axle. So all of that's out. It has been draining all night. So we're probably good as of now to go ahead and scrape off the silicone off those things because we bought an actual gasket and then yeah but before we do that we're gonna go ahead and pull these uh bearings out and actually i think i might go buy a pair of gloves really quick because it is kind of cold like freezing out so i'll do that really quick and then we're going to start on pulling the bearing and seal hey anyway so my girlfriend had some pink gloves so these uh you know rubber gloves so we're gonna go ahead just use these for now um, so we can hurry to get this done. I'm gonna grab the tripod so you guys can see exactly how this works. Now, I've never done this before, so I'm probably gonna do this side on my own and then I'll show you guys how it works on the other side. All right guys, so for this job to work great, right, you're gonna need a slide hammer. This is a um, bearing driver kit and then a bearing remover set. I rented all of these at O'Reilly's. So this is the bearing driver. On this side, we got, right here's the bearing puller. It's pretty easy. You just put it in here like that. Okay, so you get it so it's snug up behind. You just tighten this little nut right here. And then you just take your slide hammer. And you thread the slide hammer into the back of this uh, bearing puller tool. All right, so yeah, you just tighten this in. And then you just go ahead and pull it back. Just like that. Now I'll spray some brake clean in there and take a rag and just clean it up, but uh, you don't, I don't think you have to do that. And then we'll put the new bearing in. Here is the new bearing from National Bearings. Got all this on Rock Auto. So the main reason I'm trying to show you this video is because the shop, you know, wants, shop wants $500 to do this job. Um, the bearing, by the way, is the same on both sides. I always just put the print on the outside. So this goes in right here. You take your little bearing installer tool, make sure it's flush on there. And you start, you uh, hear how the sound changed. It has like a more of a metal sound. That means that the bearing is all the way back and seated. And then you take your new uh, oil seal from National Bearings as well. And then this is different, so it's like tapered. So the lip goes on the outside. And that kind of just fits in there. And then you take the same bearing tool, put it on the inside of the bearing, and then So you hear that noise again. Got new bearings in. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the axle shaft in. Now this axle shaft, you're gonna feel it kind of hit the bottom. You kind of have to like push down on this so you can raise it up almost like a camshaft. Then you want to make sure, I just did it, but you want to make sure you push the axle all the way in. That way you can get that metal C-clamp uh, on it. So you can pull it back out and the metal C-clamp will stay on the end of it inside the differential. 
very hard to see in here but you can see there's a notch on the axle so both axles are actually butted up against each other right now there's a notch and a c-clamp i can do this one hand sits just right on top and this one sits right on top and you just go ahead and you pull the axles back and I'll lock that C-clamp into place. Alright guys, so that was a pain in the ass, but pretty much the two um, gears that connect are actually uh, be held in by this big pin right here, they fell out. So what you have to do is you have to take one gear and you kind of have to line them up per teeth. So you put one gear here, on the other side you put it up on the top and then you take your foot like this and you spin this axle or use your neighbor like I use Matt, so thank you Matt. But, um, and then you get them to line up correctly. Then you can put this pin in, you put this little eight millimeter bolt that locks the pin into place in. And then after that, we can take the razor blade, scrape off all the um, RTV, because I actually bought a gasket for this instead of using RTV. And then uh, we put this cover back on, fill the diff fluid up. This, uh, the Rams take, well, at least the 1500s, they take uh, 2.25 to two and a half quarts. So I'll put two and a half quarts in here, and then uh, we're gonna start putting everything back together. All right, guys, everything is put back together, torqued back together, just like you took it off. Um, and then I took it down the road and I drove it, got about 55, 60 miles an hour, and there's absolutely no noise um, coming from the rear end anymore. And there actually is no vibration either, so it drives like a brand new truck, and uh, yeah. So that is an easy fix, easy way, saves you a lot of money. I got a quote for $500 at Muffler Man, and they're typically cheaper around here. So I'm gonna guess five to eight, maybe $1,000 to get that done at a shop. And it's nothing that you just can't do at your house. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Now remember, every single subscri uh, subscriber and a like on a video, screenshot it, and you get a chance to enter for a um, double din car stereo now that is only for 5,000 subscribers so if I'm past 5,000 subscribers and chances are that the giveaway has already ended so hit that subscribe button give you up the $5,000 get the chance to win a double din car stereo